Welcome back to my channel, everyone. It is your hostess with the mostest, Queen Charisma, and I'm back with another commentary video and Charisma Speaks podcast. In today's episode of Charisma Speaks, I want to go ahead and talk about why we as women need to notice the red flags ahead of time and stop dating guys like DDG. Now, if you haven't heard by now, DDG and Holly Bailey, they broke up. And DDG basically publicized this on his Instagram account. Now, I don't really follow celebrities like that. I don't even have an Instagram. But this is what I saw scrolling on YouTube and clicking on a few videos. And I'm going to just give you my opinion on why this was never a good idea and how I feel that DDG used Holly and how I feel that she had a low self-esteem, unfortunately. DDG, his ex was Ruby Rose. That in itself is a red flag to me. And a lot of the times we do not look into the guys that we date. We don't look into their exes. Now what looking into their exes reveal is that it reveals their type. It reveals what type of dynamic they're into, what type of girls they like, down to how they look, mannerism. And this is important because Normally, they will revert back to their type. Ruby Rose is not the type of girl that a lot of men who value themselves, who want to start a family, who want to bring her home to meet his grandmother. This is not the type of girl that you would bring home to mama, as they would say. Um, I think a lot of women, they try different things. And honestly... It comes down to having a broken ego, having a broken self-esteem and wanting attention, okay? And this is based off of experience because I know a lot of women dibble and dabble and maybe they have their whole phase, but for other women, this is not a phase. This is their everyday life and this is the only power that they feel they possess and they will lose in the end. Now let's talk about DDG and Holly and why this was not a good idea from the start. This was not a good idea from the start, not only because he dated Ruby Rose, but because during the early stages of Holly's relationship with him, it was already rocky. Um, and the reason I say it was rocky was because Holly just got a superstar deal as the first black Little Mermaid, which was very big and still is very big to the image of black women and black little girls because we don't see ourselves in these Disney movies as princesses. We don't get that much representation. So of course this was huge. And Holly got the deal and during that time, we started hearing that she was dating DDG. There were also rumors going around because DDG, he he's the type to put things on blast. He's the type to try to get clout off of different things. And I feel like he got clout off of this relationship. He got clout off of their child. And I feel like he wanted to humble her and he wanted to trap her. And that's exactly what he did. So... I believe, and I'm going to say allegedly, I'm just going to say it was a rumor. He had got online and he was talking about how, I guess he was trying to get a reaction out of Holly. And he basically said that he messaged, I think this was in an interview. He said that he had messaged Ruby Rose and Ruby Rose also put him on blast and showed the actual screenshots. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. Somebody showed some screenshots and it basically showed DDG while he was in the relationship with Holly, 
basically asking Ruby Rose where she was, if she was in LA and all this stuff in her inbox, like being extra, extra thirsty. And Ruby was like, don't you have a girl? And he was like something like, okay, let me get off. You, you write this and that. Let me get off of this. But those were just the messages that she showed. Who knows what else happened? Who knows if they actually met up in LA? Who knows, who knows, who knows? Because a lot of the time, these type of women, they only show what they want to show. And basically she was trying to make Holly look dumb because she knew that Holly was in this relationship with DDG. And I feel like he never stopped talking to Ruby Rose. See, a lot of these type of men, they like it easy, right? They don't want to put in the work to have a quality relationship. They want what they want. They want their cake and eat it too. They don't think about the spouse a lot of the time. They don't think about the woman in the relationship. They just think about themselves a lot of the time. And I feel that if it's not about money, it's about sex, Typically, when you're not a celebrity, when you're not getting this much money, it's about money, right? A lot of relationships, they crumble because of the lack of finances. And it's usually the guy not having as much money or not doing as much as the woman. And therefore, they don't feel like a man. And they start to take their frustration out on the woman. And they also want more from the woman, like they still want sex whenever they want it. They still want this. They still want to be catered to. They want you to cook for them, but they are not doing anything. They're not making money or they're not even matching you. And they just want to sit around and have everything given to them and they don't want to work for anything. So then you got these Ruby Roses and you got these other women who are very loose and very, you know, they don't care about uh, commitment. They don't care about um, whether you are in a relationship. They don't care if you are married. They will still try to get your man because they know that a lot of these men are lustful. And if they look good, if they have a nice body, they can easily seduce a man, right? And that is where they think their power lies in seducing men, um, being a pick me having a low self-esteem, putting their body out there for the world to see. Um, and, and this is, again, it's not a whole phase. It's not trying out new things. This is their way of life. And at the end of the day, they don't want a commitment or they do want a commitment, but they're pretending like they don't so that they could get the attention from all type of men. And usually that comes from daddy issues, unhealed issues within that woman. And so they think they're winning, but in reality, they are losing because a man will never take them seriously. And so they get in these type of relationships where they're only expected to be sex kittens. They're expected to basically do what they do on Instagram, shaking their behind, um, showing the guys what they about. And after that, they're all, they are usually discarded, Okay. Um, so men don't respect these type of women, but they will go and lie down with them. They will give them attention. They will make them feel like they are important and make them feel like they are better than say the good girl, the girl who is responsible, the girl who's going to work, the girl who's going to school, the girl who got their own business. This is very common, unfortunately. And Holly those red flags, Holly should have known better. And unfortunately, a lot of women, they do know better, but we don't do better because we want to be in love. We want to believe that this is going to be a different circumstance, that this guy is different, that they will grow out of it. And the truth is, if they don't want to change, they are not going to change. And so once Holly saw that, DDG did not respect her, that DDG was still in Ruby Rose inbox, allegedly, 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 and that he was still giving other women attention. This is when she should have been like, okay, I am done here. I'm done. 
And being how she is being managed by Beyonce, right? How she is a younger sister, being that she is a superstar at this point. She started off as a YouTuber, her and her sister, um, Holly and Chloe doing their thing. But it seems as if she wanted that life, that stereotypical life of a singer and a rapper. She wanted to be a mini Beyonce, but she did not demand more. She did not demand marriage. She did not demand respect. In my opinion, she let a lot of things slide, right? And she started to turn into a Ruby Rose. It's almost as if she was looking at Ruby Rose as the example of what DDG really wanted. So she started to turn into a bad girl. She started to be more out there. She started to show her body more. She started to do things that we did not think she would do because she was our little mermaid, right? So I think she wanted to break out of that image at the same time. She was trying to be something that she was not. And I believe deep down she's a good girl, but he was a bad influence. And now that he got her trapped, now that she's a baby mama, it's almost as if he lowered her value so that no other guy would want to mess with her, in my opinion. To me, she still has value, but now you have baggage. Now you have baggage because now you are connected to this guy for the rest of your life because of their son. And so now DDG announced that they are broken up And he publicly announced that. And in my opinion, he publicly announced it so that all these hoes on Instagram, all these hoes he was in the inbox with, all these hoes he may have said, oh, let's wait a little bit or whatever. All of them, now they're notified. Cool, he backed in the streets. Okay, now it's on. Now I could F him. Now I can do this. Now I can cool. I got him. Now it's on now pretty much. You know what I mean? Okay. He not with her. Now is my chance to be all up in his face, to mess with him, blah, 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 blah. So when, in my opinion, when guys do that, they one don't want to be snitched on. They want to let everybody know all their hoes know, Hey, I'm single again. So, um, you can't snitch on me. I can do what I want again, but really they could, they could did what they wanted in the relationship as well. So it's like, it, what was the point? The point in my opinion was to humble her and to make her like every other black woman to make her like every other woman in the industry who is dating a rapper or have dated a rapper. So basically her value, her reputation was affected, right? Her womb, right? Had a, having her first baby with this dude. And I don't know how she feels about it. I don't know if she's nonchalant. I don't know if she's sad about it. I don't know if she feels dumb. I really don't know. And this video is not to make her feel any type of way, but this video is to just remind all the women out there to look for the red flags and we as women have to do better. I know a lot of us want love. I know a lot of us want to find that right guy, but honestly, it's starting to seem like these guys don't want to be right. So we have to focus on ourselves and our careers. And I think Holly was just just getting started with the little mermaid and i would think she probably limited her her opportunities because of this guy so he was not worth it in my opinion less than 24 hours later he's on fine love or pop a balloon with ddg um he did all this very very uh slime in a very very slimy way and i think he has been disrespectful and he is disrespectful. So let's watch out. Let's stop dating these DDGs. Let's stop dating these type of guys. Let's open up our options. A lot of us already have date outside your race, date outside your comfort zone, date outside your damn state if you have to, but look around, date around because 
settling down at this point, you got to make sure this is something you want to do. Like this is starting to be like, you got to think hard about who you sleep with, who you procreate with because now she has to deal with him and his shenanigans for the rest of her life because of their son. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. And I appreciate y'all listening and tuning in. Please be respectful. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe if you fill in the topic or the video. And I will see y'all on the next episode of Charisma Speaks. Peace.